everyone and welcome to this episode of when you're mowing the lawn and you step in dog poop and track it through your whole house before you realize it's all over your feet. In all seriousness, today I thought since you know so many people are asking me to film again, I mean literally two people asked me, so shout out to you guys if you're watching. Well you should be because you literally asked me to do this, so hello. I am just going to film myself doing my go-to makeup look that I do literally every time I get ready now because I have zero creativity. It works for pretty much every occasion, so let's just go ahead and do that. Okay guys, I am back. I have some eyebrows on. They're horrible, but it really doesn't matter because I'm not going anywhere. Are you going anywhere? It doesn't matter, okay? We're just gonna let it be how it is. Look how far apart. What? I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna talk about it. First and foremost, Listen, I'm allergic to um, every season. Stay tuned for fall. We'll see if the same thing happens. I'm sure it will. Let's clip up this hair. I can't wait for it to leave a clip mark because that's what always happens after I blow dry it. I'm literally at the stage of my life where, first of all, everyone's getting married. This is upsetting to me for several reasons. I'm 24. People at this point are like with the person that they're going to marry or like they're divorcing the person that they thought was the person that they were going to be with forever. You know what I'm saying? Basically, what I'm left with is like people that are divorced already or the people that suck so much that they like don't have anyone for them in the first place. Which sounds all fine and dandy until you realize that I watch a lot of Dateline, as we all know. Pretty much every episode that I watch, if a woman meets a guy when she's like 30, she's like been divorced, she meets someone, she's like he seems so perfect and then like turns out he's a freaking serial killer. Doesn't murder her, so like I'm probably safe. Usually we'll murder a close relative, like a child. Close friends watch out because I'll probably end up marrying a serial killer. And that's how I feel about that. Another sad part about getting older is literally the highlight of my week was that my mom bought me a bird feeder that is see-through. So I can watch birds through my window through a clear bird feeder. That was the highlight of my, my week. Probably my month. <sighs> it's exhausting, I'm not even gonna lie. So I went to Six Flags today, you guys. Here's the thing about me and Six Flags. I just, I just don't do well in the heat. I've passed out numerous times. My body just doesn't handle it well. My resting heart rate's like 50. So basically whenever my heart rate is above 100, I feel like I'm gonna die. Today, I went to Six Flags with my dad. He brought an entire bag of medicine preemptively because he was like, this girl steady dies every time we go. Overheats, gets a migraine, you name it, I do it. Today I start feeling funky and I'm like, okay, let's go ask people for water because I'm not paying for water because it's supposed to be free. That's like a law or something. So I'm like, let's go get some water. He's like, you know what? Better yet, let's just go get ice cream. And I was like, great. I love ice cream. Never have said no to ice cream in my life. I don't trust anyone that has ever said no to ice cream in their life. That's just a general rule to live by. If you ask somebody if they want ice cream and they say no, run for the hills. My lips are so chapped. So we go get this ice cream and we get some water. I'm eating the, the ice cream like a child, like shoving it down my throat. Mind you, I don't know if I'm lactose intolerant so much as just food intolerant anything i eat basically hurts my stomach my dad's like you're gonna get sick stop eating it and like have you ever thrown away like half of a thing of ice cream it's extremely upsetting so i was just like every time he was like throw it away i was like uh-huh well needless to say that i got on supergirl and felt like i was going to vomit <coughs> Ugh. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so after we rode the Supergirl, I just felt like I was not thriving. I thought that I was gonna barf. So I took two preemptive Imodium because I had ice cream. So I took those, so I probably won't poop for a week and a half. I'll keep you guys updated on that. I'm kind of worried. I don't know where that story was going, but anyways. um, And my dad kept saying, you know my favorite ride at Six Flags? Basically the gist of this ride is that you have a little water squirt gun and you squirt the people actually riding the ride with with the water so he keeps bringing up this ride and he's like i want to ride this ride where you just squirt people with squirt guns and i was like okay we finally find this ride he's like a freaking kid on christmas eve he's like so excited and it's legitimately like five-year-old children on this little floaty thing and they're just shooting water guns at each other but if you don't want to ride the ride you can stand outside of the ride with a little squirt gun and shoot the riders with water and my dad thought this was the best thing ever there were like 13 year old boys that were targeting my father squirting him with a squirt gun he has never had so much fun in his entire life he did it probably through five rides of people he was soaking wet because everybody was like trying to get this old ass man and i felt like that was the most pure thing that's happened in the year of 2019. so i've gotten really lonely this year because i have no animals and like nothing that loves me that has a heartbeat so i took up 
planting. I would say like growing plants, but really keeping them alive is not my my best talent. I just I just like planting. I I'll buy I'll, well I don't even really plant them. I just kind of buy plants that are already alive and then I end up killing them. I'm not kidding. I killed a succulent. I didn't even know that was physically possible. You don't even have to really water them. Turns out they need sunlight though. Yeah, I am not good at keeping plants alive. I got one from the, the uh, university like plant sale and I was super excited about it. I was like, I'm going to name him Fernando. Fernando is now in three pieces because I put him outside in direct sunlight, which apparently you're not supposed to do. I found that out after I left for a trip. So I'm going to put him out in the sun. <laughs> put him on my patio table outside and i was like perfect he'll get plenty of sun it was literally like a magnifying glass fernando was just sitting in the middle of this table in the blaring sun in the middle of summer and my dad was like you can't put a house plant outside in direct sunlight or it'll die and this was like when i was like not even in town and i was like oh i definitely didn't do that no <laughs> i definitely killed him but anyways i came back and i guess like he wasn't dead so much as broken in half i guess from the wind and stuff but then my friend was like hey you should just put the like top part in a cup of water and then it'll like re uh, root it'll it'll grow a root and then you can plant it so i kept it in some water for a while it never grew a root so i was like whatever i'm just gonna put it in this pot next to the one the other half of it a few days later fernando had grown a little um nugget friend we'll name the second one fern gully why not so then there were two but actually three because there was the broken half of original Fernando and then there was a broken off part of the top which I also put back in the pot and then there was also the new one Fern Gully so there was three apparently you can't keep the plant like in the same plant thing that you get them in you have to actually put them in a pot I say that as if I don't know that I kind of knew that I knew that so I had to buy a pot my dad bought me a pot and I had to replant Fernando and Fern Gully into this new pot that didn't go well I couldn't get them out of the original pot. So I was trying to put them in the second pot and what I ended up doing was just like turning it over and like trying to loosen the soil. Well, then it <laughs> fell out and broke Fern Gully in half. So now I essentially have four halves of one plant. Are any of them alive at this point? I don't know. Plants are just not going well for me. So that's why I've taken to bird feeding I briefly looked into animals that require very little care. Birds were um, on the top of the list and I was like, you know what? I was like, I'm gonna get a bird. The only issue with this plot that I had was um, I'm terrified of birds. Like I, I wouldn't pick it up, you know what I'm saying? I feel like there was a flaw in that plant. Stay tuned, I might get a bird, I don't know. I also recently decided that I was gonna try to bring dabbing back. I don't even know when dabbing was cool, but now, I mean, when dabbing was cool, I never once did it. I was like, I'm not gonna look like that person that's like trying to dab and trying to look cool. I'm not gonna do that. But now that it's not cool at all, and like when people are doing it, they're usually kidding. Now I feel like I can really like throw them in there. So you just gotta like warm up a little and then just just hit them with it. And people always think I'm kidding. I'm 100% serious. I've been on the struggle bus lately because I got that dreaded you're almost out of data text. You know that like family breaking up text that, that goes out to everyone and then somebody gets accused of using all the data every time. And then they have to send the screenshot of who used all the data. Oh, they said, I think on June 15th or whenever, you have 11 days left in your cycle and only 10% of your data left. And I was like, that doesn't sound like it's gonna end well for me and it's legitimately $15 per gigabyte of data you go over. But yeah, like try to live your life without data. It's actually kind of refreshing. No, it's kind of horrible because you get lost a lot. You need data for maps and stuff. And if you think I can get anywhere without my data, you're wrong. You're so wrong. Today when going to Six Flags, I was like, you know what? I've got it from here. It says 13 miles. Take the next exit that says Six Flags. Did I do it right? No, I took the wrong exit. Had to get on my maps again recalculate and get back on track pro tip for any of you girls that can't do eyeshadow if you mess anything up just put shimmer on top of it and you just it'll look fine you know how you have like an entire shirt drawer full of t-shirts but you wear like the five that you like that's me to a t except i think i have like three that i like um the rest suck you know so since you guys have last seen me i have grown an entire semester's worth of knowledge like i'm telling you this grain is jam-packed 
full of stuff. Ask me a question, anything. Perfect, I know the answer. See how smart I am? Look at that. This mascara is probably six months old. Do I care? No. Yeah, look how easy that came out. Listen guys, we're on the home stretch. We're really close. I'm just smoking it out for a real one on the bottom lash line. I, I recently started doing this again because sometimes you just gotta really change it up. I used to do the whole like eyeliner top and bottom thing and then I was like, you know what, that looks bad. So I started just doing it on the top. This summer has been the moment of a smoked lower lash line. Get some chippity chapstick, holy moly. We're just gonna throw on some lipstick and be donezo with this. Whatever, you get the point. Okay guys, and that is the final look. This is just like my everyday, it's not my, it's like if I go anywhere important. I know I didn't tell you anything that I did. You could see it if you wanted, if you really cared, you could really try to pay attention. If you try to copy this, I'll sue you, so.